was a hot day to be back in the classrooms, but still many students here in Central New York actually celebrated the start to their new school years. In North Syracuse, this first day had a more celebratory feel than ever before. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan takes us to CNS High School to explain why both the superintendent and students are feeling relief. It was a half day for CNS seniors and juniors, so sophomores in their first year at the high school, like Giorgio Rauta, get the building to themselves. When I was little, I used to come here for, you know, sometimes wrestling practices and stuff like that, and I would always imagine myself as a student here. He couldn't imagine his education being affected by the $20 million state punishment for paperwork mistakes, some made before he was born. This football player and cellist shared that message with state lawmakers as a student member of the Board of Education's Legislative Committee. Having this money by our side will help us prevent cuts in the future for any sports, clubs, or activities. And that gives me a good hope for, for CNS and, and what we can offer our students in the future. With the $20 million burden lifted, the school district can now look at adding opportunities for these students. Always a priority, school safety. The superintendent tells me she's in conversation with the Onondaga County Sheriff to add two school resource officers in the district. Instead of looking at things that might have been needed as cuts to be able to think about opportunities and experiences for students and also um, you know staffing issues and some security and safety issues as well. I'm more hopeful for what the school has to offer in the future and I feel more assured, assured that this school and this district will continue to be great. Hearing students talk about it and realizing their sense of relief makes us realize that that's what it's all about. This first day of school, the first day of the future for North Syracuse students. In Cicero, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Andrew's still waiting for the state education department to respond to his question about when the North Syracuse district will get back the nearly $2 million already taken out of state aid as the first payment. We'll keep you posted.